Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be evaluating this interesting but a little challenging in tech world, so stay tuned. Okay, so here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to infinity. Then we have this integral from x to infinity sine of u squared du and square plus another integral from x to infinity cosine v squared dv squared and dx. Okay, since we have two different integrals inside of this integral, so I'll be calling this first integral from x to infinity sine u squared du. Okay, let me call this as just s of x. And then for the second integral, I'll be calling this integral from x to infinity cosine of v squared dv. Let me call this as c of x. Then what we need to complete is this, this integral from 0 to infinity. And then we have s x now square plus c x now square and dx. This is what we need to evaluate. Okay, so using this, first of all, let's talk about d over dx and then of x times s of x now square. So let's talk about this, right? So this is going to be the same thing as now then um, s of x square and then plus 2 times x and then that times s of x times s prime of x. Okay, so let's keep rewriting this, right? So this has to be the same thing as then s of x now square minus 2x times now sine of x square times s x. Okay, this has to be the same thing as then still this s of x now square. Okay, then we have plus parenthesis d over dx. And we have cosine of x square. That times now s of x. Okay, so let's keep rewriting this, right? So this has to be the same thing as then s of x square plus d over dx. And then that of now cosine of x now square of sine x. And then that minus cosine of x square. That times s prime of x. Okay, a few more lines. So this has to be the same thing as then s of x still square plus d over dx. And then we have cosine of x squared that times s of x. Okay. That plus cosine of x squared times sine of x now squared. So finally, this is the same thing as then s of x squared, and that plus sine of now 2x squared over 2. That plus d over dx, and of cosine x squared times sx. So that's why we can also rewrite this as now then, s of x, Square. And then minus 1 over 2 of d over dx. And then we have integral from x to infinity. Then we have sine of u squared du. Okay, that now plus still d over dx of now then cosine and x squared times s x. Okay, this is what we have, right? Okay, then using the similar word, we can now talk about d over dx, x times now c of x squared, right? Okay, then like I said, let's talk about now d over dx of x times c of x squared. 
So we will talk about d over dx of x times c of x now square. Okay, so first of all, this has to be the same thing as now. c of x now square, and then that plus 2x times c of x times c prime of x. Okay, so let's keep rewriting this, right? So this has to be the same thing as then. Okay, now c of x. Now square. That that minus 2x times cosine of now x squared. That times c of x. Same thing as now then. This is c of x now square. Okay. Then after this, it has to be minus of d over dx. And then we have sine of x now square. Okay, that times cx. Okay, and then if you rewrite this, it has to be the same thing as c of x squared. And then we have minus, still parenthesis, we have d over dx, and then sine x squared. That times now c of x. Okay, that plus sine of x squared times c prime of x. Okay. So if you keep rewriting this, right? If you keep rewriting this, it has the same thing as c of x now square. Okay, for that part, it is now the negative d over dx of sine x now square, and then that times c of x. Closer parenthesis, minus sine of x square of times cosine of x now square. Okay, a few more lines. So if you also rewrite this, then it has to be the same thing as still c of x now square, and then minus d over dx, okay, then that time, that of sine x square cosine x square. Okay, and then that minus sine of 2x square over now 2. Okay, then if you finally rewrite this, then it has to be the same thing as Still, the c of x now square. Okay, then after this, it has to be now minus d over dx of sine x square. Okay, that times now just the c of x. Okay, then after this, we have now then plus 1 over 2 of d over dx. And integral from x to infinity. And we have sine of now 2u square and du. Okay. Right, so this is what we have so far. Okay, so using all the information so far, now we can talk about d over dx of now x times s of x square. And then plus x times c of x square. This has to be the same thing as now then, s of x squared plus c of x squared now plus d over dx. Then we have cosine x squared times sx. Okay, that minus sine of now x squared times c of x. Okay, so using this, we can now talk about s of x squared plus now c of x squared. This is going to be equal to d over dx. Okay, then we have parenthesis x times s x squared plus x times c of x now squared. Closer parenthesis, and then that minus d over dx of 
cosine of x squared, and then times sx minus sine of x now squared times c of x. Okay, then using this, now we can talk about this integral uh, from 0 to infinity. And we're looking for this s of x squared plus c of x squared and then dx. Okay, so this expression has to be the same thing as now. So x times s of x now squared. And then that plus x times c of x squared from 0 to infinity. Okay, that minus uh, the next term is now then cosine of x now squared. That times sx. Okay, and then minus sine of x now squared times c of x. Okay, also from 0 to infinity. Okay, the same expression, right? Then we can talk about two things. We already know the limit. Okay, the limit when your x is going to infinity. Now x times sx now squared. This is equal to zero. And at the same time also limit x is going to infinity. x times c of x. This is also equal to zero. Okay, so from this we can now obtain this integral from 0 to infinity, and then sx squared plus c of x squared and dx. Okay, this has to be the same thing as now then, s of now 0. Okay, so since your s0, now this s0 is the same thing as now then, integral from 0 to infinity, sine of now u squared and du. Okay, so we can easily calculate this as square root of pi over 8. So that's why the integral that we need to evaluate has to be now square root of pi over 8. So this is the answer. Okay, so pretty interesting, but a little challenging integral to evaluate. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.